What is up guys, it's Evan, the card guy. Today I'm gonna teach you how to shuffle a deck of cards properly. I'm gonna teach you three different ways on how to shuffle a deck of cards. If you're excited to learn these three different methods, let me know by liking and subscribing, and let's get on with the video. So these three types of shuffling are the three basic types, and I'm gonna teach them to you easiest to hardest. But all of them are pretty simple with some practice. The first one is called the Hindu shuffle, and it looks like this. It's pretty easy and let me show you how to do it. Start with the deck in Dealer's Grip. I taught this in my previous video. Basically, the cards are just in your non-dominant hand, so for me, it's my left hand. Your thumb is gonna be on the outside of your body, pointer in the front, the rest of your fingers along the other side. From here, you're gonna come over with your dominant hand, and this is a grip that I haven't taught yet. It's pretty unique to the Hindu shuffle. You hold the cards like this. So it's this way, with your thumb on the inside, pointer curled on top, and the rest of your fingers like this in the front, like so. From here, all you're gonna do is come over with your non-dominant hand, and with your thumb and middle finger, strip off some cards from the top. And then you're just gonna keep repeating this action, and it's gonna mix the cards like so. This one's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory, as long as you have the grip right. So again, in your dominant hand, hold the cards like so. And then with your non-dominant hand, get your thumb and your middle finger, and strip off cards like this. That is the Hindu shuffle, super easy, looks like this when you do it fast, and it's a pretty cool way to shuffle a deck of cards. The next shuffle I'm about to teach you is called the overhand shuffle, and it looks like this. What's cool about this one is it doesn't have to be super organized, it's kinda just a casual way to shuffle the cards, and it looks pretty cool. The way you're gonna do this is hold the cards in what's called Biddle Grip. I taught this also in my last video. You're gonna hold the cards with your thumb in the back, pointer on top, middle ring and pinky in the front. It's kind of like the Hindu shuffle, but instead of holding the cards this way, it's this way, like this. So from here, you're basically just gonna take your thumb of your non-dominant hand and strip off piles of cards. So there's one, two piles, three, four, and really that's all it is. It's just dropping some cards into your non-dominant hand, like so. So as long as you get this grip right with your dominant hand, once you do it, it's pretty simple. You just strip off some cards with your thumb and all the cards rest along your fingers like this. So that is the overhand shuffle. The third and final shuffle I'm about to teach you is called the riffle shuffle. This is probably the shuffle that you think of when you think of shuffling a deck of cards. It looks difficult, but let me teach you in a way that I know for a fact that with some practice, you will be able to do yourself. You're gonna grab the cards in the same way as before, biddle grip, just like for the overhand shuffle, but instead of tilting the cards up, you leave them face down like so. From here, you're gonna turn the cards outward, like this. Then with your thumb, go through half the cards. This is called a riffle. That is a riffle of the cards, and that's just gonna take practice so it's not super chunky, and you're able to get it all smoothly. Once you're able to riffle half the cards with your thumb, you're basically just gonna mirror your dominant hand with your non-dominant hand, like so. So basically what happens is you have two halves of the deck, both in this biddle grip. You're gonna hold the halves to each other, and with your thumbs, you're gonna go through the cards one by one. You're gonna riffle the cards so that they overlap. Now, a lot of people think that they need a table. A lot of people are able to do this shuffle provided they have a table or their knee or something. But here's what's interesting. Your fingers actually act as the table. You really don't need one. I think that's all psychological. People think they need a table, but really what happens is your fingers act as the table and the cards won't go anywhere. Now to do the bridge, which is the hardest part, put your thumbs right on top like this where the two piles meet. From here with your thumbs on top, bend down all the cards and release pressure slowly and the cards should bridge. Now, I don't expect you to be able to get this first try, but as far as the concept, it's not too difficult. Hold the two halves like this, like I said. If you would like to keep the cards more stable, you can put your pointer fingers in front. This just helps you be more secure and everything is much tighter. Everything is just a lot more stable. So you bend down, thumbs on top, release pressure, and the cards should bridge. So that is how you do the riffle shuffle. In conclusion, guys, this is the Hindu shuffle, this is the overhand shuffle, and this right here is 
the ripple shuffle. Thank you guys so much for watching. This tutorial was super short and sweet. Some of them are gonna be like that. Some of them in this series are gonna be very detailed and long explanations for ones that I think need that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, let me know by smashing that like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Guys, if you post any magic trick, anything you learn from me on social media, make sure to tag me at the card guy on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you so much for watching and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.